You are a healthcare professional and you want to know how to inject leg spider veins and blue veins by microsclerotherapy. You're in the right place. My name is Dr. Haroon Gadraj, Director of the Vein Care Academy, helping doctors, nurses and healthcare professionals by providing online learning courses. If you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and check out all the links in the video description below. So let's get started and please stay to the end where I will share my free guide how to inject leg spider veins and blue veins by microsclerotherapy, a step-by-step -step approach to successful injection technique. Injection of telangiectasias, also called spider veins, place the skin under tension to provide a flat surface to facilitate needle puncture. This is accomplished by spreading the fingers and thumb of the non-injecting hand and applying counter-traction with the little finger and hypothena eminence of the injecting hand. Use a 30 gauge needle, half inch, and inject with the bevel of the needle turned upward. Place the needle flat on the skin. The injection should be performed slowly and intravenous injection should be confirmed while the injection is in progress. Only inject when you are watching the needle tip. Successful intravenous injection results in blanching along the course of the thread vein. Blanch no more than 2 cm by 2 cm area of telangiectasias at a time. That's because the solution is most active close to the injection site. And this is worth repeating. The needle tip should be observed at all times. The injection must be stopped immediately if a bleb appears, which indicates extravasation, or if there's blanching of the skin, in contrast to blanching of the vessels, which indicates veno-arteriolar reflex venospasm, or injection directly into a small arteriole. In addition, injection must be stopped immediately if the patient experiences pain. Injection of small volumes of low concentration under low pressure minimizes the risk of post-sclerotherapy telangiectic matting. So in summary, successful injection of leg spider veins depends on stretching the skin, the use of a fine needle, most experts would use a 30 gauge needle, with the bevel uppermost. Spider veins and telangiectasias are very superficial and the needle should be placed flat on the skin. Um, some prefer to bend the needle 10 to 15 degrees and slide the needle flat along the surface of the skin to cannulate these very superficial veins. Always inject small volumes of sclerosant under low pressure and inject slowly. Watch the needle at all times whilst your injection is in progress. Thank you for staying to the end. As promised, you can find the link to my free guide How to Inject Leg Spider Veins and Blue Veins by Microsclerotherapy, a step-by-step -step approach to successful injection technique. And that's in the description below. Now, it really is a game changer. It will really take your microsclerotherapy to the next level. It's free and there's no catch. Now, let me know if you have any tips for microsclerotherapy yourself in the comments section below. I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.